Hey everybody, this is part three of Microsoft Certificate Authority setup infrastructure. And right now, let's let's go over what we have. We have a root CA offline. We have an intermediate CA that has been signed and given access to give out uh, to issue CAs, it's a we called it the Chris Eve issuing CA to give out certificates, and it's signed by the root, which is offline. So you could have more than one intermediate, but we're only gonna we're gonna start here with just one. And this is this one is standalone, not joined to the domain and powered down. This one is an enterprise Active Directory integrated certificate authority. So it is already giving out that certificate, that intermediate certificate. So in this video, what we want to do is set it up so that it trusts the root. Remember the root is offline non-domain join. So it's not going to be given out to everybody. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go to the Active Directory server and we're going to go to let's do this let's go to group this thing's running kind of slow let me see what's going on let's go to we have server manager open we don't let's open server manager Go to tools and group policy management. Okay. So let's look under our domain. Let's expand that out. And what we'll do is at this level, Let's create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And this one we'll call the certificate. I'm hold on. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Certificate. Trust policy. And I'm going to edit that policy. I'm going to go to computer configuration under policies and then under Windows settings. Under security settings, let's make this larger, move this over. And public key policies. Now you can see, we should see trusted root. There we go. And there's nothing in there right now, right? Because we we have not imported this one. So let's let's do this. We're gonna import one. And we're gonna find that file. And it should be Did we copy it over to this computer? Probably not. Yeah, okay. Um Let's do that. So this is the security certificate. This is it right here, this one. So what I'll do is I'll just go on here. Go to the domain controller. 
10.170.10.100. There we go. And I'll just drop that right in there. And now let's cancel this for one second. Let's do another browse. C drive. There it is. So this is the root authority certificate. So this is saying this is a trusted root. And we're going to put it in the trusted root certi certification authorities. We're going to click next and finish. And that's good until 2042, 20 years out. And what that will do is that will give every computer in the domain the trust of the root authority. By default, the intermediate, since it's enterprise AD, it's already trusted. So that, that does not need to be added. Okay, so that's, that's all we wanted to do in this video. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.